Welcome to Groupie Man's Reviews. Today we're looking at the Netgear 11AC dual band Wi-Fi range extender, model number EX6130. At the time of recording, I picked this up from Amazon for £40. It normally sells for around £50. Some information there, dual band Wi-Fi up to 1200 Mbps can be used in extender mode or access point mode. In this video, I'm going to be using it in extender mode and I'm going to be showing how to set it up using your PC. I have also reviewed the AC1900 Wi-Fi range extender. I showed how to pair that up with your mobile phone. If you want to watch that video, I will link it up above and a link in the description box below. I have done other home networking product reviews as well. Again, I'll link that in the description box and a link above if you want to watch them videos. If you want to pick this up, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Remember, if you find the video useful, a thumbs up would be appreciated and subscribe to watch more reviews. Okay, a quick look at the packaging and then I'll unbox it. Push and connect WPS. That's the easiest way to connect. You press the WPS button on this and then within two minutes, you've got to press the WPS button on your router and then they'll talk to each other. They'll pair up and that's it. You don't need to do anything else. One port, it's got a gigabit ethernet port as well. Some information there where to place it. You don't place this where there's no Wi-Fi at all. You place it in between your router and where you've got poor signal. It has lights on it, let you know if it's too far, the light will go off. But if it's green or amber, it means you're in the right place. Just some more information there. On this side, it's just a picture of the actual extender. Okay, I'll open it and we'll have a close look at the extender. First thing, a quick start guide, AC1200 Wi-Fi range extender, and then the model number. Just some information there, Gabe. Some more paperwork and that actually extender nothing else in the box the extender feels nice and light good build quality like well, course you'd expect that from netgear wouldn't you these will light up where it says router device power wps and mode of course you don't lose a plug two antennas that flip backwards like so they don't go any further than that at the bottom that's for heat You've got your buttons on this side. Factory reset, WPS and mode, on off. Gigabit ethernet port, that's good for connecting your smart TV or gaming console. At the back, of course, I'm in the UK, mine's a three pin plug. It's got your MAC address and uh, numbers there. And just some information there. Universal pass through Wi-Fi range extender. That's what it looks like from the top. Okay, let's get it connected. Okay, let's power it on. Press the on button. I wait till that power button turns green. Then I could set it up on the PC. When you set it up for the first time, make sure the router is close to the extender. Once it's up and running, then you can move the extender where there's poor Wi-Fi. That will take around two minutes. That will less than two minutes, it's green. Now I'm going to go over to my computer. Okay, all the lights are solid. I click on the Wi-Fi button down here. As you can see there, Netgear EXT, click on that. Connect. I open a page, Microsoft Edge, could be any. Press enter. Apologies for the quality of the screen. I did try to record it on my PC, but for some reason it wouldn't connect on that. Okay, so you need to create an account. Once you've created an account, it will ask you to select your country. Mine's Europe. Okay. The switch on your extender has been set to Wi-Fi range extender. Do you want to enable AP mode? No, that's access point mode. I don't want to enable that. I'm going to use it in extender mode. Now it's going to scan all the networks and bring Mine up to 2.4G and 5. I think this laptop only does 2.4G, but you can set both of them up anyway. There we go. It's brought it up here. Netgear AX12 for the 2.4G. Netgear AX12 for the 5G. Next. Okay, now I'm going to put the password in. Now, this is the password for your existing network. Okay, once you put the password in for both the networks, 2.4G and 5G, setting up a connection between the extender and your existing router. Spoil up, enter a network name and security settings for your extender. I could change the SSID and the password, but for now I'm going to leave it as it is. Press next. We are applying your settings. This may take a moment. Connect any Wi-Fi enabled devices like you would connect them to your main network using credentials below. 
your extender has successfully connected to your existing Wi-Fi network. So you're saying green indicator best connection and green indicator best connection. All the lights are green now on the extender, meaning it's working perfect. All I do is take it off now and put it where there's a poor Wi-Fi. There, just to show it's working there. Netgear AX1200 5G. And if I go to speed test, go. It's a nice low ping that. I'm on 350 meg download and 36 or 35 up. Yeah, the up's always consistent. So 166 down and 35 up, which isn't bad, but I'm quite close anyway to the actual router now. But this video was just to show you how to set it up. I hope you found this video useful. Any questions, ask me in the comment section below. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.